So if you're going to the gym and you plan on doing anything that requires our posterior chain to work, which means our calves, our hamstrings, our glutes, and any of our back muscles, um, you really need to get those active and firing first, especially if you have a job that you sit all day and then you're going to the gym. When you sit all day, basically the glutes and hamstrings primarily, they kind of shut down forget how to work. So you need to get them firing and active first before you really go challenge them with a significant weight at the gym. So what you're going to do, after you've warmed up a little bit on rower, bike, running, um, whatever it may be, you're going to grab either a barbell, a PVC pipe, a weighted bar, whatever you can find at your gym, whether it be a CrossFit gym or um, LA Fitness um, type gym, wherever you're at, you're going to put a bar on your back. You're going to stand up nice and tall, keeping those shoulders back, keeping your back straight. You're going to hinge at your hips, your butt goes back, legs stay straight, torso comes forward, and then you're going to stand back up, squeezing those glutes at the top. So you're going to go down, feel those hamstrings kind of are stretched and activated and then you're going to stand back up. You're going to do 10 of those. And then you're going to find, get a kettlebell, a dumbbell, something that's really light that you can hold in one hand. You're going to stand on one leg, the um, weight is going to go on that same side hand. Similar motion, now just one leg at a time. You're going to keep your torso in line with your leg and the other leg straight, you're gonna come down and come back up. If you need to, stand next to something to hold on for balance, you can. As long as you keep that form still good. You're gonna do 10 times on each leg there. That'll help get those muscles firing, getting them uh, just turned on again after being shut off all day. So you prevent injuring yourself and when you're actually doing your workout.